Hey, this is Tim O'Brien from Kirby's Pub, and you are about to see the Weird Lift of the Week. Wow, that's great. Who doesn't enjoy watching a good Weird Lift? Ah! ah I guess it's not for everyone. All right, today we have a great guest demonstrator. He's a legend of the cave. This is Brett Noyes. He's a cancer survivor, and he's always was a great inspiration for all of us working out back in the day. And so for any of you that feel like a little bit let down by Lance Armstrong and you need something to believe in, we still have Noisy. Okay, today's weird lift is the seesaw dumbbell bench. And I've been getting like a lot of feedback that's not a weird lift. This isn't, okay, look, this is pretty straight up, but it's a slight variation that I think you're going to want to try. So again, it's, it's very close to, you know, a regular dumbbell bench, but we're just going to tweak it so it counts as a weird lift even though it's not that weird. And so uh, grab your weapons, buddy. So what he's going to do now is he's going to be stabilizing one dumbbell at all times. So both are up. He's going to do some alternating bench. Can he start out? So again, he's just stabilizing the uninvolved arm. So he's just getting a little bit extra shoulder stabilization. Good, good. Sounds like a dog's getting run. Okay, hold on. Let's give us a few on each side now. So that's one way we do it alternating now. Give us like three reps and three. So again, we're just going to stabilize on the uninvolved side for a set of three. Switch up. Good job. Not as good as that side, but whatever. You can have everything. All right, good. We're good. Good demonstration. Stop the lift. All right. So here's the story with that drill. So again, not, not terribly weird, but again, old-fashioned alternating dumbbell bench used to be like that. Now we have one up at all times. And again, so if you're in a training room, you'll see people do shoulder stabilization, this, this kind of stuff. So... We're sort of playing on that. So we're just getting a little bit extra work for the shoulder in that way. Uh, we usually go maybe one of two ways. Oftentimes we just go alternating like you saw. Other than that, maybe we will do extended reps on one side, then switch up. Sometimes we go five, five on this side, five back to this side, five back to this side. But again, give this one a try. It's really very, just a slight offshoot of what you probably already do. But again, really good teaches you control and I even think it's sort of good for beginners because people that have the wobbly wobblies this will be really good to try to correct some of those problems as well so we thank Noisy for being in here and now he has some more important stuff to do but um peace out bitches